Oh. If you go up there, then I'm going to whack you in the face with my kite and pole. What? What? No, we got to go up there and do Simba. Come here, Simba. Simba! Oh, hey, what's up guys? What the heck is this? I woke up this morning planning on totally vegging at my house, down in my office, working on my computer per usual, and my mother somehow suckered me into coming out into nature uh, to go on this hike with my kids. A nerd. Of course, hike is a four letter dirty word in my vocabulary. Hiking and I have a relationship, and we're not speaking right now. Might have something to do with my time in the army. You go on the best hikes in the army. I'm sensing a little sarcasm. So my plan today was to do a video for you guys Whoa! Yeah, I told you to watch out. Vlogger hazard. So my plan was to do another story time video and tell you guys some more experiences from my job. So the first story I want to tell, it's appropriate because it's the middle of summer. It has to do with a story from the middle of winter. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is one of the best experiences I've had on my job ever. It was epic. So in the last city that I worked in, we had a condominium complex uh, on a steep hill. Perfect that I'm out here, kind of like this. Oh my gosh, I've seen this hill before. As you, wish. I am the way your son you guys, this hill's in the Princess Bride. Okay, good talk. Anyway, it was a hill kind of like this, maybe not quite as uh, majestic. And what do kids make good use of with hills in the middle of winter? Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously sledding, but that's not what I was thinking. Think more like a teenager, more like I was as a teenager. And this was the perfect hill for snowballing cars because at the bottom of this hill was a roadway The top was a condominium complex and there was no way to get up to the top of the hill where you would park your car and get out and snowball cars So your potential victims had no way to stop and chase after you or so I thought well Moment to watch what I'm doing. We got water and stuff over here now. It's all so beautiful Uh, What are you doing here? You don't belong. Oh Good night. Someone's peed on that. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we get dispatched up there on uh, these kids snowballing cars, just like any other day. And it was dark. It was starting to get dark. So we automatically know to go up to the top of the hill in the parking lot of this condo complex, because that's where the kids are at. So we cruise up there, get out, walk over to the corner where they always snowball from. Sure enough, snowballs are lined out. You can see their little dugout they've made where they're like camouflaged from the road. They've got their spot set up. Kids are gone, they usually are by the time we get there. For whatever reason, we had a third officer show up on the call, and while me and my partner were up on top of the hill, we see him down at the bottom pull up. You guys know where I'm going with this, right? The snowballs are already made for us. You just can't get any better than this. He drives by, and we're like on the same page, me and my buddy. We pick up the snowballs, and we just start hucking them at him. We connect, like two of them, right on the windshield, right on the side of the car, and it's loud, because this is way up on the hill. So they came down. Boom, hit his car, he slams on the brakes, swerves off the side of the road, gets out of his car, he starts running up the hill. He starts yelling all kinds of obscenities and names, telling us he's gonna take us to jail, he's gonna arrest us. We are dying, we lose it and are just laughing. He hears us laughing and gets even more mad, starts yelling even more obscenities at us, and he's just trucking up this hill in the snow, which is not easy. He is dead set on catching it. You would think we were homicide suspects or something. Okay, they're leaving me. I gotta catch up. So anyway, we're watching this. We're watching him come up this hill. And he still can't tell that it's us. So of course, we don't stop there. I think we start taunting him a little bit. It was something to try to make him even more mad. You'll never catch us. Here's another one for the road. We started throwing more snowballs at him. Oh, more vlogger traps. I wasn't paying attention. So at this point, it just can't get any better. I mean, we've played this out about as much as we can. We snowballed his car. He couldn't be any angrier. We vagged him on, called him names, taunted him, throwing more snowballs at him. Finally, he gets his flashlight out and hits us with the flashlight and sees that it's us. And even more obscenities come out. He was even more mad after that. But after a few seconds, he was laughing. It was cool. Oh, this is perilous. Perilous. I'll hang on to you, but if you fall, I'll fall too. You think there's snakes in there? I'm a 
snake. Why do you think there's a snake in there? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of rocks. Where you at, snakes? I don't know no snakes. Yeah, there's no snakes here. We've been hiking for days. Like at least two or three. Dad, two or it's three. been hours, not days. We've been hiking for an no, hour. I'm what? One hour, a few days, whatever. Oh, what's on my leg? Do you want to? The heck is that? Ow! Get it. Oh. Ow! Honey. Get out of here! All right, go. We're making to the history books anyway. So sassy. You're like that sassy goat. <laughs> We're on the theme of pranking other police officers at my job. So I'll give you guys another one. This one wasn't directly involving me, although I wish I could say I took part in it. We had an officer or officers that confiscated some illegal fireworks or they found them on the side. I don't remember how they came into con. I don't know how they got them, but they got some bottle rockets. We just destroy those or sometimes give them to our SWAT team they use in training. We had a particular sergeant that liked to make a habit of going to the bathroom in the lobby bathroom. He didn't like going into the one in the office because it was usually being used and no one ever used the one in the lobby, so he wanted some privacy. Can you say privacy? Privacy. Privacy. Can you say al aluminium? Uh, aluminium. 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 Went to the loo. What? Where did this come from? All right, anyway, he's in the bathroom and he's taking care of business and he's watching like, I believe it was like the year's best news bloopers or something on his phone. He's watching YouTube. So this officer sneaks into the bathroom with the bottle rockets. He lights it off, throws it in there, shuts the door, and waits for chaos. Nothing happens. He almost thinks that it was a dud and didn't go off when all of a sudden, <laughs> he hears the sergeant start speaking in tongues, yelling at the top of his lungs. He says he sounded like an elementary school girl. Filled up the bathroom with smoke. They were worried it was gonna set off the fire alarms for the whole police station. The sergeant was not too happy about this. In fact, afterwards in recounting the story, he says he literally scientifically levitated off of the toilet several inches when the bottle rocket went off. He thought it was the end of the world. It was like an Al-Qaeda attack or something like that. Total savagery. May this hurt the water. Yes, hurt the water. Take that water. Yeah, let me get in on this action. For the Alamo! What? Oh good, a break. I mean history. Wow. 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 You're not sure how to work it? Oh my gosh. Well, there's a knob. I imagine as you <laughs> mess with the knob, it'll start to work. Is it working? <laughs> I'm gonna die in this it's... desert waiting. Hey, the children! The children! <laughs> we gotta stay <laughs> we gotta stay strong. <laughs> Oh, oh, unkinked, now it works. Success. We have water. Oh I guess I guess I should try mine. Your experience hikers. Makes a funny noise, but it works. <laughs> Let's go. Cactus, these don't belong here. I hear rumor that these are not actually really sharp. They're just looked that way for appearances. Let's check. Ow! Brilliant. Well played, nature. Well played. You win this one. Totally pride rock. This will work. You're like a little, little cub, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You got. <laughs> All, right, that's good. All right, I didn't really start this video planning on it being a uh, kind of prank theme, but that's how vlogging works. You just start sometimes and you see where it ends up. So, last one for today's video our chief of police. You don't mess with this man. Of course, some of us didn't know this at the time. So, one officer, ironically, the same one that we snowballed, he thought it would be a good idea to set up a battery. I don't remember what it was. It was a box set up to a battery so the whole thing was like electrified. It was like an aluminum box. And he somehow dressed it up, sold it or whatever, to get the chief as he was walking by the patrol bullpen to touch the box. So the chief totally grabs this box, shocks the crap out of him. I think it was a little more voltage than the officer realized was there. So a lot of things the chief could have done here, could have taken it seriously, could have told him, you know, not cool. Whatever. There's a lot of chiefs and admin that would have done that. They wouldn't have thought it was funny. Wait, you guys leaving me? Oh. Well, you don't like my stories? Okay. So the chief, he took our OC pepper spray. Some of you guys may remember my story talking about the OC pepper. Throw a link to it up here if you don't. That stuff is nasty. It's the worst. Goes out to this officer's car, sprays it in the air vents, and on the handle to the car. Ooh. This officer goes out to his car, and then he gets in turns on his car summer it's warm full blast on the air vents full air in the face <laughs> totally totally gets the oc he gets the whole sea full blown in the face out of the air vents he comes bailing out of the car 
all over his face. I think that round went to the chief. And in fact, that was the end of it. Everybody knew the story. Nobody pranked the chief after that to this day, as far as I know. What? What is that doing up here? In memory of Kitty. Rest in peace, Kitty. All right, let's go. That is it for the stories today. Hope you guys enjoyed them. We'll have more coming soon. We love you guys, and we will see you next time. Yeah, yeah. My kids think I'm weird. I don't understand. Yeah, that sounds about right.